Okay, this is a video to denounce and show how stupid and out of fellowship Christians are, and especially the ones that back Trump. And I'm, you know, I've been sort of hinting at this. I'm not going to get real deliberate about it. Um, somebody, I ran across this. Some jerk named Daniel Speck, who wouldn't know the Bible if it bit him, is now trying to say that 2030 is the second coming of Christ. The reason why you know that he's full of BS, and I want to say the full word, is because Christ himself said in Acts 1 that it's up to Father when he comes back no dates that's what distinguishes church versus Israel and what ends up happening in every generation especially when you get around the 1000 mark and the 2000 mark I'm so angry about this I can't see straight sorry a bunch of idiots who call themselves Christians and therefore make God look like a liar run around and say, all the, well, based on a number of clues given in Scripture, we can expect. You know, they said the same damn thing a thousand years ago. There's a guy, and I did my, my um, video on him. When was it in here? Um... This guy, right here, okay, this one, I spent time in this video, which, you know, I'm trying to turn off now because I'm sitting here, I spent time in this video explaining to you the goofball 2,000 years, 1,000 years, cultic nonsense that Christians have gone through. And I did it because I'm warning you about the Seven Mountains people behind Ted Cruz and Trump and James Dobson and all that. Because this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to make Revelation 17, which is right here in the Greek, I'm revising it. They're trying to make Revelation 17, they're trying to force it to happen. They call themselves Seven Mountains. They totally reverse the meaning of Revelation 17. They think that they bring Christ back if they Christianize the U.S. And the people who are Christians in Russia think the same damn thing. These people wouldn't know the Bible if it bit them. Okay? At all. Zero. Because the whole purpose of Revelation 17 is to tell you what to avoid because it's going to be a long time before Christ comes back. It isn't going to be the 2,000 years. Okay? It can be, but it won't be. And Paul started that off. I've done the videos on that. I've been doing videos for eight years to show you that these are all what if the rapture doesn't happen? What if it doesn't happen? What Israel got was the timeline. Her timeline was because it was going to happen at a certain time. Everything. We get a timeline too, but it's because it, it won't happen. So you have to know what history is going to be because it's not going to happen. You can't time it. So, you know, this whole thing goes all the way back. Alright. Matthew 24 started it off. I've been doing videos on that now for two years, showing you how you can prove it, okay? Then, then uh, not shown here, but Ephesians 1 tags on him next, and I just learned this a couple days ago, and I haven't done videos on it yet. Luke 21 tags Matthew 3rd, so it's Matthew, then Ephesians 1, then Luke 21, and then Mark comes in 4th, I'll be doing many videos on this later, comes in 4th. And Revelation 17 comes in fifth. And it is an exact timeline 
like this thing in Revelation now I've already done the Revelation sarcasm tour videos this is an exact timeline of exact number of years what is gonna happen if there is no rapture you understand no rapture here's what history is gonna be like for you if you're alive then that's the whole focus it's if the rapture doesn't happen okay and you know these are historical figures now and so the people who are alive during the Decius persecution in 252 well it's automatically linking that up to my Ephesians 1 document okay the people who are alive during Decius they would have they would have played with these terms that are in Ephesians okay they would have played with the terms that are in Revelation I'm sorry I'm yelling I shouldn't be yelling and said oh okay well we're alive now see hello if you're standing on the earth there's no rapture got it you don't need a timeline if there's a rapture you need it if there isn't one do you understand you don't need to know what history is going to be if you're not going to be here. So all of these timelines in the Bible are for if you're still here. And honey, if you're breathing on this earth, the rapture hasn't happened yet. And so long as you are breathing on this earth, the rapture hasn't happened yet. You got that? Okay, well these jackasses this one in particular he doesn't get that he thinks even though Christ he hates Christ he hates the Bible Christ said you can't know it's up to father and honey once you're gone you're gone you don't need to know the history you don't need to know the date and that was Christ's whole point in Acts 1 is you don't know the day or hour nor do you need to because, honey, when the balloon goes up, you're going. What you need to know is what happens if there's no rapture. So this jerk-off probably voted for Donald Trump. You say, oh, well, see, 2030 means it's the second coming. No, honey, it means it's the end of a historical voting period. Voting. I've been doing videos on this, and I started the calendar itself back in 2004. Okay, in 2004 was when, just before Hagee came out with all of his lies, I did this. Okay, that was in 2004. Alright, maybe is it big enough for you to see now? Alright, now look. It's genius.xls, I've talked about it ad nauseum in the last eight years okay civilization 5,000 oh we gotta increase the size of it again okay well get rid of the pains alright well I have to pull it down alright look 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 see these are end of voting periods that was in the past and then this is still in the past this is when Christ died it's based on, on when Adam fell Everybody else's timelines don't take that that into account because they're not reading what the scripture actually says. And what it says is there are deadlines. So the first 1050 from his death was considered 5, 5186 from Adam's fall. That was 1080 A.D. And you know what they did then? Oh, Christ is coming back because he is a thousand years after he died. It's really 1050 is the right number not a thousand even it's a thousand years after he's died so so we better all go war with each other so that we can bring him back it was called the Crusades and it was terrible so now two thousand a thousand years later oh my 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 we're now coming into another period the second historical 1050 from his death is 2130. 
So they're not even doing the count right because these are all based on actual Bible. But this guy doesn't know how to read the Bible. In fact, in fact, he's sitting here talking about stuff that only applies to Israel. Prophet Hosea said that nothing in here, nothing, zero, none of the verses he quotes is even remotely related to when Christ comes back. Not one thing. Everything he's saying is flat wrong. Every single thing. I mean, if, if you had to grade him on his Bible interpretation here, he'd be a big fat F. He doesn't even get one thing right in here. Not one. Okay? Now, that doesn't stop him from writing a book and asking you for money. And copywriting it. Honey, if you bought this guy's book, you better get a refund. Because here's the real Bible, okay? The real, genuine article copied from the BGT, which is the official UBS text, and then were there variants from the CNTTS apparatus. You can talk to any scholar, he'll tell you what that is, because it's a scholarly thing. This is the actual Greek text in Revelation 17. And it follows a rhetorical style of counting syllables because people memorize the text. And he's going through a whole litany of future history so that you can track this year by year by year. So like this is the time of Antoninus, Pius, and Marcus Aurelius. Here's the time of Commodus. And then here's a play on history repeating itself due to hair rebuilding. Severus, Decius persecution, Carus and the rise of Diocletian, the rise of Constantine, who is equated, Constantine's rise is equated with abomination. In fact, Constantine himself dies right here in the middle of the word for abominations plural so you see it's a satire on all this uniting of church and state but that's what this jerk off wants he's all about see he's he, he doesn't even know what seventh trumpet is it's not a seventh trumpet either but i i, I don't have enough time i mean Every single word in this thing is wrong. Okay? The church was not prophesied the last 2,000 years. It's measured in 2100s, and he doesn't even know that. God didn't give it to him. You with me? But see, all those seven mountains Christians around Trump and all the third Rome Christians around Putin are all going to be looking at this date, and you know what they're going to want to do? They're going to want to repeat history, honey. They're going to, to, going to want to do a crusade in time for Christ to come back in 2030. And guess what? It didn't work out too well the first time. Millions and millions of people... Well, they didn't have millions. Maybe they did. A lot of people died. It was one of the most apostate, disgusting oh, periods in history. The end times means bad times. And oh, well, we'll bring Christ back. No, you won't. Only Father knows. That's John 17, dummy. Now, I'm ranting. I don't want to see any of my subscribers now that I'm over a thousand and I feel like I'm responsible. I don't want to see any of you guys falling for this jackass. This guy. Daniel Speck, the jackass. Do you know how God's going to punish this guy? This is right up there with the King James Only movement. God is punishing Trump. Can't you tell in your daily news? He's advertising him and making fun of him and mocking him so that God can show up jerk-offs like this one and get you all drooling over 2030. When the whole purpose of Revelation is to tell you what the conditions are that make it r ripe for rapture. And also, ripe for your death. Honey, look. 
the chance of the rapture happening now versus the chance of you dying today of natural causes or otherwise it's like you're a thousand bazillion times more likely to die normally with no rapture you do not want to spend your life on this crap what you want to spend your life on and the whole focus of Bible is hi look at all these people in the past who were trying to recreate the Roman Empire because that's what this was especially Constantine and he just died in the middle of abominations that's why Constantine built Rome Do you know back up in here no actually up here around the time right here right in here this time que el monto no mata blasfemias okay N names of blasphemy you know right there where it's highlighted in black in Rome they thought that Christ was gonna come back then and as a result of it they a whole bunch of people ended up dying in Rome okay and every time since, and this is where all the all this crap comes in. Oh, see, we're going to bring Christ back. We're going to have a Christian nation, yada, 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 yada. That's what this jackass believes. Don't fall for it. Your time is your time. God's known from eternity past when you die. You don't need jerks like this. Yes, the rap rapture is pre-trib, but... Honey, the day it happens, you're gone. You don't need to predict it. Just like you don't want to predict your death, I bet. Do you want to sit there and know that you're going to die in 24 hours or 2 years or 3 years? I bet not. And the whole point is that you could die tomorrow. Well, what's the difference between that and the rapture? And once it happens, honey, you don't need any of this. I'm sorry, I'm ranting. I'm going to shut up now. Don't listen to this jackass or any of the other Seven Mountains jerks. And don't listen to the stupid Russians who are trying to align with the Seven Mountains jerks in the U.S. These people are the number one threat to the world right now. Worse threat than North Korea or anything else. These jackasses. Sorry. I need one gentleman night. Peace out.